I'm just, I'm just doing the best. Getting in a game one of winner's semifinals, we have got Quid versus Jen, as I am joined by the lovely Kirby extraordinaire TK1 here oh, oh. in his home of Encore Esports here on PS2. We're getting started. It, it is the epitome of patient reactive gameplay here between Jen and Quid. Both players just trying to force mistakes, utilize their defensive play, make this movement to the extreme, and the question is, who is gonna come out on top, TK? That's what I'm saying. Two great, extraordinary players, too. There's only winner semis. Right, this bracket is stacked tonight. Looking for the drag down back air, but not able to confirm it into an extension. So Quid just trying to find pressure. You're seeing him stay on the Squirtle very late because of that small hitbox, because he's mostly forced to play neutral. As soon as he got the edge guard situation, saw the Ivysaur switch, and even with the teleport, there's no getting away from that down air. Absolutely right. You know, Quid's one of those PTs, man. He's not afraid to stay on Squirtle, too, you know? Regardless of how light he is, he stays on the Squirtle until he's ready to switch. Yeah, and, and honestly, that's my favorite thing about Quid's PT play, and I think the thing that separates him from every other PT, it's not a percent based switch. It's not a, hey, I'm gonna switch to Ivy Sword right now because they're my favorite. It's more of a strategic mm -hmm. switch. You know? It is, what are this character's attributes? As you said, strategy in the movement speed, in the hurt box, in this matchup, where I can really take advantage of this, in what is the situation call for to give me the best tools? And he exactly. always plays the best Pokemon in the best and situation. We saw that firsthand with first off when he switched immediately to Ivy Sword, getting the down air. I'm end staying Squirtle mid stage. Now, though, he's just not able to find a way down, trying to use that withdrawal uh, to get back to stage. But Jen's pressure is relentless, and even though he got back down, he had to fight his way out of the corner to do so, That's finally right. able to reset, but once again, getting caught swinging. And you're seeing Quid really forced to play preemptive here, something pretty unusual from him. Yep. Again, regardless of weight class, he stays on the Squirtle. He knows. And now the edge guard once again. We see the Ivysaur switch trying to find the pressure. Yep, that nice being said, from Jen, though. He's still trying to get back home. The rare, you, you had to say something, I'm TK. Sorry. You had to say something. I, I was saying a towel from the beginning. <laughs> okay, let's let's take it from the top right now. Right, Jen with a whole nother stock down throw back air. Quid getting caught with that di in, not able to find his way out of the pressure yet. But Jen getting a little too aggressive, and that jab was so smart. Like, say what you will, right? That tap was smart. Quid, not at his peak anymore, because, you know, he's focusing on school like a good, like a smart human being. But this kid's play is so intelligent. He is one of the smartest players you will ever see play this game. Talk about Jen being aggressive, you know, that stock deficit of the teleport is probably what's making him get a little too aggressive. I'm going to extend his lead right now. And Ooh, with the no tech. But the, good try, though. I was gonna say the perfect DI and the high recovery mention from Jen to find that route back to ledge yep. uncontested. It the oh, early yep. teleport they're gonna f allow him to get to ledge TK, but it just Jen had scouted out that had scouted that out from miles away because the, the last two stocks got went went to down air and so it's like okay, yeah. well if you get past the down air. You're gonna think I'm down airing, so you're gonna try to jump over me. So you know what I'm gonna do? Like Use my bigger hitbox than down air. Like so that teleport stock <laughs> definitely cost him something mentally. As, as we just saw, you know, he just jumped from ledge. You know, before he was teleporting mm -hmm. to get past Quid, he jumped right into it. And well, it's because Quid was covering it, right? Quid was Quid with Ivy Sword. You know, called Quid Ivy Sword for a reason, right? He's so good at just making you uncomfortable or well, at the ledge in these situations and and pressuring you into them and you never know what you're going to get from him that being said jen starting to take advantage of the squirrel early all that being said only a little bit of that i can't language but all i'm trying to say is this character does so much damage both of them do Surf truck, not, or the waterfall, not gonna Ooh, find his way yep. back and calling out the switch. the switch. The up smash, utilizing the activity on that hitbox, right? It lingers for so long to just say, okay, yeah. you want the switch? I'm assuming they're Have quit, fun. Quit, quit assume they then might go for a back here. go for the up smash, is very awful for Jen. And also, like, you know, if you're forcing in the mid range, auto radical, whatever, most of what Palo's gonna go for on the ledge trap, right? Does get called out by switch there, but Jet. 
and now it's up to Quid to try and find a way to build the light of trap. We're seeing Jen be the first person tonight to really find any piece of counterplay to Quid's Ivysaur ledge trapping there. Not Quid not able to land on the platform, and so not able to find his patented Quid combo. Oh, and we're seeing the Charizard for the first time tonight. No, we haven't seen it in a while, but oh, there it goes. There it goes. But seismic <laughs> toss coming in clutch, yep, man. Comes in for like two seconds, swaps back out. Quid's turn to play the game. And you know Squirtle is cooking when they start hitting up tilt in combos. It combos into itself, it combos into up air, it com does. Like once you get up tilt combos, it's 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 Jover, man. It's Jover. I actually agree. You know, he was able to get so much damage he's still racking up just like Squirtle. And the forge was that forward tilt or down tilt? I think that was uh forward tilt. <laughs> Yeah, the foretold pressure there, yeah. just it's so smart, right? Because he's utilizing not just how fast Squirtle is, but the fact that Palu saw the triple swamp though. Squirtle, the yeah. Ivy, it, it, knocking him back up. His right the mixes his are, are so good. The mix is really good. It's there. just like he's utilizing Squirtle because of the small, not the speed and the small hitbox. Because Palu, you know, Palu wants to hit you with a lot of rising aerials, right? Her ground game is not that great. So I'm going to use my really small hitbox to just still, and speed to be able to get in, pressure you. And if you try and jump in rising aerial on me, you're going to die. Downside, you're really light. That's really right. But, you know, seeing them there, getting the down throw back out, you know, no switch this time. Take it. Just charging a water gun again, right? Trying to find the pressure, and we're seeing for the first time tonight those Squirtle ledge trap coming out. Out, it's gonna be Jen racking on damage on the juggle. Quid saving that air dodge for when it mattered most. We saw him get chained before, utilizing the most simple counterplay there. Because why use your one card, your one trick card before you need it? I agree. It's just like you said. It's really said about Squirtle, you know, not just the small or you know, racket damage, it's just that neutral insane, it's all it. And at 150, you know, insane seems to rack all this damage, switching the Ivy, getting more percent, switching his eye, the forward and it, tilt. And not just the forward tilt, but the tipper forward yeah, tilt too. Yeah, saw the tail. Ooh. Spacing it perfectly around the teleport. Even with the platform, they're saying, okay, you can teleport to ground, you can teleport to plat, you can plat cancel it. Yeah. You can go up, just go straight up and reset the ledge. It's like you and said the first game. Quid, he Quid he just read it. He called it out. Quid himself has all these options. You know, he's prepared. But he's waiting to see what you'll do. See, what's terrifying is, right? This kid's coming off the spring semester, just got home from college, where he's putting his schoolwork first, his band first, all the other things he does in his life before yeah, Smash. Also playing Smash at Long Island. Don't forget that, too. Oh, no. He, he is, but it's not the focus of his life. True. Now he's home. Yeah. Right? And I'm sure he's got a summer job. I'm sure he's got all the normal college student things. But he's also got a lot more time to play Smash Brothers, and that should terrify you with how well he's playing tonight already. I think for himself, as he told us, he just plays to have fun, and he that's what he does. Well, is he playing to have fun, or is he playing to have fundies? Probably both. <laughs> True! Because I've seen this kid smile and play in grands like he was not playing. We're starting to see Jen find, starting to use grabs right to catch these these dashes and quits right, mix right. of ho just holding forward and the initial dash. Jen is just playing a lot more patient, letting Quid create this false sense of pressure that worked so well in the last two games. But with the smaller stage, there's there's not a place for Quid to kind of get comfortable to set that up. Right, but keeping Jen at the stage ledge right now. So three nairs, those nairs are working. And Jen utilizing the big body there, saying, okay, I can't rising aerial Squirtle, but I certainly can on Charizard, especially with those big wings. With the stop drop back air. It's Bro, just gonna take I that, swear, just gonna Quid, lead away that stop. I, I wanna know, I gotta ask Quid if he uses the circle on the center of PS2, small battlefield, all these stages, as like a visual indicator for his spacing. That's because he always li he always swings when his opponent's at the same place on the circle, and he always hits the tipper. Uh, uh, we're seeing it. Ooh, double down and go back here. Oh, just going a little bit too deep. Did he not have a jump? I think he did have a jump. I'm not sure. He just because he just didn't use it. Yeah. Which, you know, I get saving your resources, but you know, if he ends up getting reverse 3-0'd here, which 
he's still not even, you know, it's still not impossible for him to take this game. The Jen's juggling is going to make it more difficult. Like, Quid is going to be looking back on that one. How can he recover? Are you kidding me? The, the back air one into the grab? Quid is... That's a shield. But it's... Hold on, we're, we're like seven years in, we're like six, seven years into this game. Stop showing us new things with Ivysaur. Hey this character, that character is supposed to be solved. You're, you're, about, you're about to figure out something when it comes to this game. All right, quit at ledge. Getting called by the nears again. Ooh, and Yo, one that spacing was free. Bro, oh, you just I, jump I don't the ledge. Yeah, the jump, jump he back. jumped back on and then immediately short hop off. He faded so, back and yeah. back. He didn't see, he didn't crouch ledge slip it though either. He just jumped back off ledge. And even if he missed, he still had an opportunity to make it back. Oh, but getting caught on the last hit. Yeah, Jen. Well, again, it's those incredibly active hitboxes. Jen throwing it out a little bit. He went up there to bait the air dodge because we see all quit. It kind of getting caught in those panic air dodges a couple times throughout the set so far. And we. And the last couple times they've been working. So Jen said, okay, I'm gonna just jump up and I'm gonna throw it a little bit earlier than you think. So when you air dodge, as you said, that last hit still there, still ready to cover you and there's just nowhere for Quid to run. That being said, Jen's still gotta win two more. Quid's got one more and That's the counter pick advantage. Match point right now. And the counter pick advantage to boot. So this would have to be a reverse 3-0 from Jen. And he got the train started. The question is, can he keep it rolling here on PS2 with that extra room to work with once again? Oh my god. Oh. 3-4? Four, 5? Five, 6? Six? Six? All, right, all right, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> well, he, did, he, he hit him with three back hit, down air, or he hit him with four down airs, three back airs, and still only got 40% for it. And still lost the stock first. It just took wow, two hits into the crazy, into the F smash. What a crazy read. start! But Jen, what a crazy finish on that first stock. Like, that, that whole first stock was just like that's a Smash Bros. you see in a dorm room when everyone's ends crossed out of their mind, dude. Like really, like that was some college ass Smash Bros. right there. I agree. That was crazy. Oh, oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear, Quid is the single best person at two framing in the world with Ivy Sora, it feels like. Absolutely right, and he's taking this lead too, you know. Jen didn't even, you know, do much on that stock. You know, he's at 33, and Quid was able to just bring it back, take it back. Quid expecting the jump and gonna get punished for it. There's gonna be big damage. <coughs> and, yep, the double up air, but also getting an up air. Ooh, finally finding a reversal. That's the first one we've seen from Quid really all set vertically, but it's not gonna last. Jen has just been so good in those vertical spacings. Advantage, disadvantage. He's really meant consistently able to keep Quid on the back foot when they're in the air. Quid's win condition and so far has been keep Jen on the ground, catch those landings, right? Anytime Palu's feet are touching the ground, that is when she's weakest. And Jen is just Stop giving him those opportunities. Oh my god, the downer into the back is the top. Yeah, but a big stop. What we're saying, right? Quit took the one opportunity of Palo having to land, and that he was made it his, and that was it. Yep. He took the opportunity to take that stock, and that up is also gonna take that stock. Jen, Jen said, hold on though, hold on. That's who's uh, who's been who's been tearing up the entire state of New York? That's true. Uh, while, since, you, while you were in college? Oh, I was gonna say while you since <laughs> while since you were in diapers, but yeah, that works too. Yeah. <laughs> That's Jen's true. not even that much older. True. Right now, Quid is gaming. Jen on game point right now. Last stop. Right there. Coming in. Ooh, up there, up there, double up there. Yeah, dude. Some things never change. Death taxes. And Palu's going to put you in that multi-hit blender. Or, we've seen a lot of Jen and a lot of players tonight in general not dropping through plat at all, but really just Ooh, dashing off because it's way easier. Er, and... Jen able to make it work here, catching Quid oh, dying yep. and off the down throw every single time. That's not true anymore. Yep, and first and foremost, catching the grab. That's a crazy set. Ooh, that was a nice parry. I saw Quid, Quid doesn't parry as much as other top players, but it makes every parry more impactful because their opponent, his opponents stop expecting him to. But he's shown oh. that he can and will parry at will. He's just like, some, he's sometimes just okay with oh, taking the hit. Is that it? He missed the grab, no, that's not it, but he missed the grab anyway. And now no more jumps, having to fly his way back to stage, and able to reset back. off ledge, back throw, right, not gonna, gonna take it. But he, Charizard is so heavy, oh. but the flare blood's coming out just to reset, yep. looking like bees there for a second. 
we gonna get the a back seismic throw? toss. Not gonna, be not gonna do it a lot. Maybe oh, no. Not yet. But PS2 is so huge. I like what? the explosive flame, but the down air. about the two frames earlier? Bro, Please like he, that. Th his ability to consistently two frame. Well, like you just that mentioned. one. That one wasn't a two frame. That one was. That was a perfect catch was, teleport. But well.